because of that land, yeah, I'm so glad. A land where there's peace. A land where the Lord will wipe away all tears from your eyes. Thank God for the heavenly land. Certainly, we want to thank those for conducting our devotional service. We thank the Lord for another opportunity to give him all glory, all honor, and praise. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We ought to be glad and rejoice, for the Lord is good. And his mercy and truth that doeth unto all generations. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand upon the gates. So we are delighted to be in the Lord's house once again on the Lord's day because we know the goodness of the Lord and what the Lord has done for us and what the Lord has brought us through. So we thank God for this gracious, gracious opportunity to come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We ask now that the congregation come forth with selection and we proceed on with our worship service at this hour.
to God unchanging yes, hand. Sir. Our scripture reading at this time will be coming by Brother Snipes. She's going to come forth with scripture for at this hour and prayer following by Reverend Austin. Amen. scripture lesson this morning will be coming from Psalms 124. Mm -hmm. Psalms 124. Mm -hmm. Everybody's with me. Psalms 124, and it reads thus. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when the wrath was kindled against us. Yeah. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. Mm -hmm. The stream had gone over our soul. Yeah. Then the proud water had gone over our soul. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Amen. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the falls. The snare is broken and we are escape. Eight says, our help is in the name of the Lord, yes. who made heaven and earth. Amen. God's Amen. word for his people may be to bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Truly, the Lord is good all the time. Hold on to God unchanging hands. If it had not been the Lord on our side, sure our enemy would eat us up. Thank God for Jesus. Who is in charge? Keep on trusting God word, children. Who is in charge? Jesus is in charge. Yes, Keep watching over us all night long. Yes. So there was a mighty angel in heaven. Yes. Clothed in the cloud. Yes. Rainbow on his head. Yes. Feet like fire. Yes. Grew like a lion. Yes. Feet on the sea and yes. one on the earth. Hey. Oh, John, see up now, John. Go ahead. Yes. Our Father, yes. our Creator, yes. Tyree the Seth, thank you. Thank you. Being God and God all by yourself. Yes. No power like your power. Thank you for being sons and daughters, yeah. princess and queen. Yeah. You the one made us, now we are ourselves. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Children who have missed the mark, children who are involved in conferences that are not even worthy of your children, but you still smile on us and we say thank you. Thank you Roof on our head and clothes on our back, yeah. shoes on our feet, clothes in our right mind. Thank you for the mind, master. Knowing that we could not keep ourselves, you the one kept us. You the one kept us from all her harm or danger. Thank you for Jesus. You, the one that looked beyond our fault and saw our need. The one that died right when we were sinners. He still died that we could have this opportunity. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Thank you for each and every auxiliary of Anderson Trusted Church. Don't let them get discouraged. Prop them up on every leaning corner. Oh God, please, teach them, Master. Hold on, hold on to their own chair. 
thing tonight. Hold on to your hand, Martha, because the hand is too weak to hold to your hand, but you hold on. Yeah. Hold on, Martha. Oh God, please don't let them get discouraged. Have mercy upon the sick and afflicted everywhere. Those less fortunate than we are. Oh God, please, our Father, feel where he is. We call on you because we believe that you got our power. Nothing to offer for you to do. You have demonstrated your power when you walk the streets of Galilee. Oh God, please, heal many down in Galilee. You are the same God was in Galilee, the same God on the throne now. Oh God, have mercy. Turn and listen to them. See now, tower cry this day. Oh God, please, our Father. Bless your children as they come to feed on our word. Give them the ambition to study your word. Keep the master, oh God, hungry for your word. Oh God, please, knowing that the word will save them and the word will keep them, keep them in your word. Oh God, please, our Father. Have mercy now, those less fortunate than we are. Have mercy upon them. Bless them if it be thy divine will. Oh God, please. Breathe on our pastor. Come up on every knee in the corner. Don't let him get discouraged. Oh God, please, our Father. Things look bad, but oh God, please. Turn this bad situation around and make it good. You, our Father, make everything good. Have mercy now. Have mercy upon our political leader. Oh God, please. Give them a heart to do the right thing. Oh God, please. Knowing that you got their back if they do the right thing. For these are your people, our oh, Father. Oh God, please, our oh, Father. Let justice plumb the line, plumb the line. You are just God. You want us to do right. You want them to do right then. Have mercy now. Bless our coming in and our going out. That we may be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray and we ask it all. Amen. Amen.
My thoughts. My thoughts. My thoughts. All that is within me. I will bless his holy name with my entire being. For well, he's worthy. I say he's worthy yes, to receive all glory, yes, honor, and praise. And actually, that is the commandment. Jesus, that we Jesus. love yes, the Lord our God yes, sir. with all our heart, yes, our mind, and thy soul. And second, is like it, love thy neighbor as thyself. Mm -hmm. Upon these two commandments, handle all the laws and the prophets. Bless the Lord. Praise him. Yes, sir. Oh, my soul and everything yes, sir. that is within me. Oh, Praise his holy name. Yes, sir. I wonder if we can surrender hey, hey. everything hey, hey. to God. Hey, hey. When you surrender all to the Lord, Ooh. that's when the Lord can really use you for his glory. Yes, yes. Not for your self-gratification now, oh. but for yes, his glory. Hey. In the upbuilding of his kingdom. Because it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. The Christ. The Messiah. The son of the living God. I serve a living God. I don't serve a dead God. I serve a God that is alive. And that is evil. That has all power. I say all. Not some more oh. in heaven yes, and in earth. Yes. He is the Lord of Sabbath. Yes. Yes. He is the Lord of hosts. Yes. The heavenly hosts. Yes. All the angels. Oh, everything that is consistent in heaven. Yes. He is the commander yes. of the Lord on. Yes. Praise the Lord. Oh, I don't really know if we know who we really serve. Amen. We serve an awesome God. Yes, Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. We ask the congregation now for the selection. We certainly want to thank Reverend Snipes and for the scripture and Reverend Austin for the prayer yes. as we move forward within our worship service. Yes. Ultimately, ultimately worshiping the Lord in spirit and in yes. truth for such yes. the Father seek they worship him for they that worship him. Yes, sir. For God is a spirit. Yes, sir. And they that worship him yes, yes. must worship him in spirit yes. and in truth. So we need to come in with the right attitude. Oh, yes. Yes. The right spirit. The right, yes, the right oh. mindset. Yes. The right motive. Yes. The right to worship God. Yes. With the right heart. Yes, sir. And the right attitude. Yes, sir. Come in with a smile. Yes. Come in glorifying your king. Come in loving your brother. Yeah, like your sister. Come in with the right attitude. God brought us to this week. And not only this week from the cradle until this present hour. It was the Lord. I say it was the Lord that has brought us. And we not ourselves. So glory to the king of glory. And we get that kind of attitude. Yeah, not in the ball game. Not at a concert. But in the Lord house. Because we served the king. He said he was at a concert the other day and so excited to trample. Kill one another. Find the devil. So how are we gonna do when we come to glorify the King of Glory, who's love and righteousness and truth, who's been good? Oh, you ought to sing. Go ahead and sing a song. Oh.
Whose side are you leaning on? Lean on the Lord's side. We give honor to God our Father, the one that gives us our daily bread. And to Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our Redeemer, the Holy Spirit, our teacher, guide, our counselor, keeper, comforter, our God, and empowerment for the church. We honor the ministers. We recognize the ministers that are here, deacons and trustees and everyone in the Lord house. A musician, we thank God for everyone that is present here today in these difficult times in which we are living. As the year mm -hmm. is about to close yes, yes, in this month of Jesus. November yes. and the year 2022 is fast approaching. Yes, yes, Time keeps moving on. Yes, Let's us know that man is not in charge. Yes, and as time pass on, man pass away. Yes, Let us know who's in charge. Yes, sir. God is in charge. Yes, for he is not bound by time. He is time. Yes, he is the beginning and he is the end. Yes, sir. Amen. In the 124th Psalm, Jesus. the scripture that was read earlier, if you want to read one verse of that psalm together, and that is the eighth verse of Psalm 124. And we also say to our young people, have your Bibles or whatever you might have for in phone, telephone, or cell phone, turn with us in the 124th Psalm as well. When you find that passage of scripture, you can identify by saying amen. amen. God bless your heart. And my brothers and my sisters, in the 124th Psalm, we ask that we begin reading the eighth verse together. Let us begin. Our help is the name of the Lord. Who made heaven. Amen. And that's our thought. That's our thought. That's that's our thought this morning, what the Holy Ghost has led me to. Our help is in the name Hey, Ramadishin Nakamad Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven? Who made what? Heaven. In what? God is the creator. Not man, or woman, boy, or girl, nor the devil. God is the creator. I think we ought to know that we have a creator. People living today like they don't have a creator, but we have a creator. And one day we're going to have to give an account before our creator. Oh, praise the Lord. Ecclesiastes in the 12th chapter tell us, let us have a whole conclusion of the matter. Yes, yes, Fear God yeah. and keep his commandments. Yeah. For this is the whole duty service of a man. Yeah. For God shall bring every work under judgment. Yeah. Whether it be good or evil. Yeah. So we all will have to give an account one day yeah. before our creator. Our help yeah. is in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Lord, help us that we may give a good account. Yeah. Let us pray, thou eternal fathers, again, that you've allowed us this most gracious opportunity to come, Lord, on the Lord's day. You've allowed us to breathe the air of life one more time. Woke us up this morning. And allow us to start out on our journey. Yes. Thank you for a safe passage. Yes, Thank you, Lord. 
here this morning. For we realize that there are those that set out on a journey, but they have not made the journey because they were cut off on the journey. But by your grace and your mercy, you allow us to reach our destination. And for this, Lord, we say thank you. We do not take it lightly because it's only by your help and your grace and your mercy. And we ask that you would continue to guide us through this service by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come be our teacher and our preacher. Help us to open up our hearts and our minds. They are going to receive bread from heaven. To feed and drink off the milk. And to taste the sweetness of the honey from the word of the God. Feed us the meat that we stand in need of. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Help us to realize that we have a creator. That give us his only son, Jesus, our Savior. We thank you. We bless you. We exalt your name. And it's the name that is above every name. And that's Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. Amen. second chapter in the first verse says he is our advocate yes. helper he's our counselor yes. that comes alongside you mm. a more modern term means he is like a defense attorney mm. when you need one oh, yeah. Colossians the third chapter and the 11th verse says he's our all in all yes, he is the savior of all those that believe and trusting him. Yeah. Hebrews the 6th chapter in the 19th verse yeah. calls him the ankle yeah. for the believer's yeah. soul. Yeah. Keeps you sure and steady yeah. in the storms yeah. of life. Yeah. Hebrews the 3rd chapter in the 1st verse says he's our apostle yeah. and high priest. Yeah. He's our apostle and high priest. Oh, yeah. Apostle means he was sent by God the Father yeah. to the world. Yeah. Qualified 
as a high priest. All wrapped up in a lamb to take away the sin of the world. A high priest in charge of the sacrifice for sin. And he is the sacrifice of the sin, yet he's in charge of the sacrifice, being the high priest. And he's also the sacrifice. And he is gone. Oh, praise the Lord. Mm. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Psalm 34 and 3 says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. And, 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 and as, as, as people of God, we didn't know how to call and use his name that we might receive the blessings of the Lord and the things that we stand in need of. Oh, if you're going lacking, here's Jehovah John. Lord, you want Jehovah John. Yes. The Lord will provide. Yes. We, got, we got to learn how to use the names of God. Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus. He's Jehovah Nisa, the Lord will. Yes. Fight your battle. Lord, I mean, yes. a, I mean a storm. And I, yes. I need you as Jehovah Nisa. Yes. I can't handle the storm. Yes. I need a battle axe. need somebody to know how to fight this battle. But it's a spiritual battle. Our help is in the name of the Lord. What is help? Help is assistance given to give aid to someone to do what is needed. To assist anyone or anything in need. Sometimes even animals and plants need help. So at any given time, Everything needs some assistance. Yeah. Yeah. Surely, we can see today that many people are in need of help. Yeah. And the help that is needed today is not all in money. Preacher. Not all in silver or gold. People, a lot of people feel if I can get a million dollars out of all my troubles going to vanish away. If I can just be rich. And not only money, silver, gold, jobs, food, clothing, shelter, or even winning the lottery, and other material goods and wealth. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong now. Material things do have their purpose in life. But, 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 but many people today need to come into the knowledge of God, their creator. Many today need salvation, need to be born again, need to be delivered and rescued and set free from the bondage of sin. Many need a kind word spoken to them, need encouragement. Many today need to be steered in the right direction. You see, today, too many people lack proper teaching and guidance. A lot of proper teaching and guidance of what is right is not being taught today. Too many are confused, abused, lost, mislaid, and heartbroken, yeah. filled with grief yeah. and pain. Yeah. Some are sick and crippled, full of disease. Some are mentally yeah. disturbed. Yeah. Some are hopeless and homeless, abandoned, yeah. taken advantage of. Brothers and sisters, this world stands in the need of help. Yeah. Like I said earlier, it's not all in material goods. There are other needs, yeah. desperate need. Yeah. The most desperate need that anybody needs is salvation. Because yeah. the wages of sin is death. Yeah. But the gift of God yeah. is eternal life through Jesus Christ, yeah. our Lord. Yeah. Government don't have the answer. For you find them, I don't care who's in charge, Republican or Democrat, 
Yeah. You find them always fighting yeah. and upholding too many lives. Yeah. I said they're upholding too many lives. Yeah. Oh, but the good news is help yeah. is available yeah. for this troublesome world. Oh, yes, it is. John 3.16 says, God shall love the world. A lot of don't want that help, though. Many don't want to help a God so the world that gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus said he give us this knowledge in John, the 10th chapter, in the 10th verse. Jesus said the thief, it is the devil that come to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's all the devil has to offer anybody is destruction. Steal your mind, steal your joy, and steal the knowledge that God is trying to give you. Then he turn around and kill you and ultimately destroy you. Get your hook on drugs and many other things. Jesus said, but I am come. I am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, our help is in the name of the Lord. King David cried for help in Psalm 22, verse 19. David said, Lord, don't be far from me, no. Don't leave me to myself. Be not far from me, O Lord. Oh, my strength, he is hurry to help me. Brothers and sisters, David knew where his help cometh from. It is in the name of the Lord. The creator of heaven and earth. Man did not put this earth here. But he's doing a good job trying to destroy it. But he ain't nobody will destroy this world but God. And then there'll be a new heaven in the new earth. We got chemicals all in the atmosphere and all in the air. All underneath the earth. Factories. Looking up the air and all these things. Yeah. Oh, but man didn't put this world here. Yeah. God did. Yeah. Do you believe that today? Yeah. In Psalm 124, David is referring to the Israelite nation, a nation who God helped and delivered many times, for they was his chosen people. But the good news is our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, help all who would come to him. Yeah. Help all who would uh, receive Jesus yeah. and seek that is search after him in his righteousness. Oh yes, we can view this psalm as individuals, not only for the Israelite, but we can view the psalms as individuals. Those who are trusting in Jesus. Yeah. Because in this walk of life, we have our own personal struggles day by day. Also, the church is in view the body of Christ, for we need his help. Yes, because the devil is always constantly trying to discredit the truth of God's word. Yes. But John 17 and 17 said, sanctify them through truth, for the word is truth. I said a word of sanctify and cleanse up your heart. Also in view is the entire world who Jesus died to save. Uh, the Lord died to save every man, woman, boy, girl in every generation. Yeah, but many in the world reject Jesus as Savior. But the help the world needs is in Jesus uh, the Christ. Yeah, the help uh, the world needs is in the name uh, of Jesus. Yeah, the Lord, uh, the one who created uh, heaven and earth. For John, the third chapter and the 17th verse says, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him uh, might be saved. Home, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, to the word uh, of God. Uh, in the belief, King David wrote Psalm 124 uh, after his victory over the Philistines. He 
reading 2 Samuel, the 5th chapter, 17 through the, the 25th verse. For in 2 Samuel, the 5th chapter, it tells us David uh, became king over all Israel. Uh, for he was already king over, yeah, two tribes, that's Judah and Benjamin. Uh, but the other ten sons uh, of Jacob uh, now wanted David uh, to be their king. Yes, this all happened by God's uh, appointed time uh, and God's plan uh, and power. Uh, yeah. David, uh, with the help of God, uh, was able uh, to unite uh, yeah, the ten uh, or the twelve tribes of Israel uh, yeah, and become uh, a mighty nation. Uh, David uh, was the only one uh, to bring together as one. But as soon as this uh, was done, here comes uh, the devil. Oh, the devil is busy. Always trying, uh, yeah, to distract God's word uh, and always trying uh, to separate uh, God people. Uh, yeah, but God uh, has something for the devil. Yeah. Isaiah 54 and 17 says, uh, No weapon uh, form against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against you in judgment, uh, thou will condemn. Uh, the heritage uh, of the service of the Lord uh, yeah. and their rights of me, said the Lord. Uh, I encourage you today, uh, stay on the Lord's side. Uh, yeah. I encourage you today, come over on the Lord's side yeah. uh, because our help uh, is in the name of the Lord. Uh, and if you on God's side, uh, I don't care how much weapon uh, the enemy form against you, it won't prosper. Oh, praise the Lord. Now when the Philistines heard David uh, was anointed king over Israel, uh, they brought a mighty army against David. Uh, the Bible says uh, they spread themselves out uh, in the valley of Rephaim. Uh, yeah, thousands uh, of Philistines uh, yeah, spread themselves out down in the valley. Uh, but David being a wise king, uh, Asked the Lord for help. He asked the Lord, should I attack the Philistines? And will you give me victory? The Lord answer was, go up against them and I'll certainly give you the victory. So David, with God's help, went to battle. And the Lord gave David, yeah, and the Israelite victory. And don't you know, not long after that battle, the Philistines came up against the Israelites again, trying to stop God's plan, trying to stop God's plan from taking place, trying to stop God's plan from taking place and being fulfilled. But I've got news for you. No one, no devil, and no demon can stop God's plan from being fulfilled. No demon or devil can stop God's plan from taking place. Because the devil thought he had him when he nailed him to the cross and he laid him in a cold, cold grave. All the religious leaders and the Sadducees thought they had Jesus. Death thought he had him in the grave. Thought he had him sealed up. Yeah, but on the third day morning, the grave they had to release him. And all the devil and the demons were trying to hold him down. Death had to lift his filthy head off him. And early on the third day morning, he arose with all power. No devil and no demon can stop God's plan. I say to you this morning, what God has for you is for you. You want to tell God, thank you. I receive my blessing. I receive my miracle. I receive my healing. I receive my miracle. Because I'll help. He's in the name of the Lord. God has not given the spirit of fear. Power! Loving a song, mom. 
You got to go to God and let me know who he is. Because I'll help. Hallelujah. It's in the name of the Lord. They came up fighting against God again. David again. Oh. Ask the Lord what to do. And I'm learning. I don't care how simple it is. Ask the Lord if I should do this or do that. Or if I need to do this or do that. Or how should I handle this problem? How should I, how should I do this? I'm learning more and more. And the word says trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding. In all our ways, acknowledge him, he shall direct our path. You see, you see, that's why a lot of us end up in trouble. Because we don't consult God. That's why a lot of God people end up in trouble. Because we don't consult the Lord. And then if you consult him, you got the real on him. Call on him until he answers. Real on him. For then that real on the Lord shall matter. up. Call on him to ego. Run! And not be real walk and not faint. David said, Wait on him. I say, Wait on him. He shall strengthen thy heart. Yeah. David asked the Lord again what to do. This time, it getting warm, Freddy. The Lord told David, Do not attack them straight on. But instead, the Lord said, I got a strategy. I want you to circle around behind me. That's God's God got strategy for you. Oh, you ought to come on the Lord's side. With our help in the name of the Lord. From this day forward. David, I want you to circle behind me. Come up from behind them. Don't, don't attack them straight on. And then, and then, and then David, when you have marching in the mulberry tree, that is the time, that's the signal that I'm moving ahead of you in battle. Then when I'm in battle, and then you hear the, the marching in the mulberry tree. And the Lord allowed me to defeat the enemy. Oh, help! It's in the name of the Lord. So, 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 so now David in Psalm 124, he looks back. He looks back over the victories. I say victories. Not just victory. I say victories. Anybody got a victory? Anybody have had victories? God give his people victories. I've had many victories. David looks back over all the victories God gave the Israelites in himself. Over the years, and said in the first Psalm, Oh, if it had not. I'm looking back, I'm looking back. I'm looking back, I'm looking back. I've been in the valley. And Rephaim is the valley of giants. Giants. Name after that valley. Giants dwell in that place. But God got something from giants too. David said, if it had not, then the Lord who was on our side. Now, may Israel say, I can hear David in my mind saying, we got to sing that verse again. For the second verse said, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. When men rose up against us, in other words, what if God wasn't on our side? The third verse says, then they had swallowed us up quick alive. When their wrath was kindled, meaning burning hot against them. Over the years, the Israelites have many enemies, even with slaves down in Egypt, uh, in the mud pits, uh, yeah, making brick and mortar, uh, forced to work in hard uh, condition. Uh, but the Lord brought them out uh, 
with a mighty hand. And as long as Israel was obedient to God's word and commandment, yeah, the Lord fought for them and they defeated the enemies all at every time and no matter how great the odds was, all they had to do was be obedient uh, yeah, to their God. Uh, the fourth verse says, Then the waters uh, had overwhelmed us as the stream had gone over our soul. Yeah. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Uh, water in these two yeah. verses means uh, the many enemies uh, yeah, that Israel had. Uh, if it wasn't for God's help, uh, the enemies would have come down upon them uh, like a heavy downpour of rain uh, in a thunderstorm. Uh, yeah, that is raging and threatening like a flood. Uh, yeah, like when they were down at uh, the Red Sea uh, and they had nowhere to go. Uh, mountains was all around them uh, and the sea was before them uh, and filled with breathing slaughter of death behind them. Uh, but they cried out to the Lord uh, and the Lord opened up the Red Sea. Uh, or just like they were down uh, at the River Jordan uh, and the water overflowed the banks because it was the harvest season uh, and they wondered uh, how are they going to cross old Jordan River. Uh, but the Lord said take the Ark of the Covenant uh, and let the priests uh, step in. Uh, yeah, let me lead the way. And when the priest stepped in, uh, the water rolled up and stood up on one heat uh, and the water that was running down to the Dead Sea ran on down uh, and the Israelites uh, crossed the Jordan River uh, on dry ground. Uh, our help uh, is in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord uh, who have not given us a prayer to their teeth. Uh, in other words, David uh, is saying thanks uh, be to the Lord who, who have not allowed our enemy to tear us apart uh, or destroy us. Yeah, our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare. Uh, of the followers, the snare is broken uh, and we are escaped. Uh, in other words, because of God's help, uh, we escape like a bird caught in a hunter's trap. The trap is broken and then we are set free. Psalm 91 and the seventh verse says though a thousand will fall at that side and ten thousand on the right hand, none shall come nigh thee. Only that I shall die the whole the city of all the wicked for the Lord thy God is thy refuge in thy strength. Oh, praise the Lord, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Brothers and sisters, and everyone that is under the sound of my voice, you may not have had the enemies, you may not have had the enemies like the Israelite people, but I know and Jesus knows that you had your share of troubles. You had your share of ups and downs. Some perhaps are in trouble right now. Some may be sick right now. Heartbroken, struggling with grief, trying to make ends meet, trying to get over a loved one that has passed away. Some may be struggling with a broken marriage, broken friendship. Yes, home is all torn apart and your children for some reason strain off from the family and all you do to talk to them, they won't listen and they won't behave. All the teachers you give them and they allow the enemy to pull them away. Some have been lied on false accused. Some been cursed out for no reason. Some been talked about to no end. They got your name dragged all over town. Some have been abandoned. Some been overlooked. But through it all, God has been good. Through it all, God has brought you through it all. Oh, praise the Lord. God has kept Kept your mind together through it all. Hey, making a way for 
glory. Out of nowhere. Oh, glory. 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 Be to the Lord. For it is the Lord who brought you through it all. It's the Lord who brought you through all your troubles. For if it had not been for the Lord on our side, oh, praise the Lord. If you look back over your life to see where God has brought you, the Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. I remember an old board house. Oh, praise the Lord. It got cold in the real time. Two bedroom house. I didn't have my own bedroom. Some of us had to sleep on the floor. And when it rained, we had to get pots to catch water in the house. Oh, praise the Lord. There was no bathroom and no running water. You had to hold your water in the house. There was no bathtub. The men washed in the barn and the girls washed, yeah, in the house. There was outdoor toilets, but God has brought us a powder mule. We didn't have no car. We had a wagon that we ride in and a buggy. Yeah, and I work in the field. Sun up the sun down. Oh, praise the Lord. Knock up time. Knock off time it was 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock right back in the field. God has brought us. Brought us. Hallelujah. Anybody can remember. Hallelujah. Brought us Open doors that men try to close on you. Give you jobs that men didn't want you to have. Give you an education that they stop you, try to stop you from receiving. God has brought us from a mighty long way. If it had not, if it had not, I look back over my life. I said, Thank you. Brought us from a mighty long way. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. 
He's a friend of mine. Oh, he's a friend of mine. I'll help. I'll help. The believers help. Is in the name of the Lord. He's the Savior with many names. And he qualified to meet all those names. He's the wonderful yes. counselor, yes. mighty God, yes. everlasting Father. Yes. He is the Prince of Peace. What you need, God's got it. Yes. I'll help in these stormy times, in the midst of this pandemic and all the tragedy that has taken place in our world today. The believers got help. And our help is in the name of the Lord who created heaven and earth. And he's given us some guidelines to follow. If we follow these guidelines, may the Lord help me not perfect? No. God perfects us. He brings us into maturity. And he transforms us into a son, a daughter of God. On this journey, the Lord is pruning. And the more we strive to walk in the path of righteousness, feed on bread from heaven, that is the eternal word of God, the more we become just like Jesus, the more we surrender over to the Lord. Because real help, true help, is in the Lord. What the Lord did, he made heaven and earth. And he went a step further. He created everything yes. in the universe. Yes. Everything on this earth. Every fruit that you eat. Yes. Every nuts that you yes. eat. All the delicious things that we eat of this earth. Yes. God put it there. Yes. Not man. Whatever. And then he took some dust. Yes. Not a whole lot of substance. Yes. Dust. Yes. The least thing yes. on the earth yes. is dust. You take dust, throw it up, it just flies away. But he took dust and he made the man from the earth. And out of that dust, he alone breathed life into dust, into a dust heart, lungs and everything. He molded the man out of dirt, clay, dust. Every part that you see now didn't become life and functionable yes, until God breathed in the man. Yes, and the man became a living soul. Yes, and from that man, he took a river and made a woman yes, and brought the woman unto the man. Yes, now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Yes, so she became a woman. Yes, well, father, well, man leave his father and mother and cleave yes, to the wife. Yes, and two become one flesh. But the devil have polluted and perverted through the sin of man God's word. And got the man all tangled up. Many of them don't know who he is. Some don't know if he's a male or a female. But if you call a male, that's who you are. But there's a spirit that will enter into your heart. A perverted spirit. Yes. It ain't nothing but a spirit. Yes. Lying ain't nothing but a spirit. Go ahead. Stealing ain't nothing but a spirit. Go ahead. That has entered into the heart of people. Yes. These are spirits yes, that people are dealing with. Yes. So we need another spirit. That's a heavenly spirit. Yes. That's the born again spirit. Yes. That can wash all these unclean spirits out of us. Yes. Alcohol and drugs. Yes. Adultery, fornication, all these things. Murders and thefts. Those are spirits roaming into the hearts of people. When the Lord met the man at the graveyard, the man was naked and out of his mind. Nobody could chain him on or tame him or nothing. Until the Lord got there. And the demons in the man cried out, don't send us to the bottomless pit. We don't want to go back to hell. If the devil don't want to go to hell, 
What in the world I want done? Send us to leave in these pigs, in these hoes, but don't send us to hell. The Lord said, I'll go, but you're going one day. And when the people come, they come and find the man clue and in his right mind. So when you open up your heart to unclean spirit, you open up your heart to the devil. If you got cigarette, alcohol, and all these things, those are different spirits that are in you. Crack, cocaine, spirits. Look how much spirit you got in you. Then you got lying on top of that. Cursing, profanity, all in the spirit, all in your heart, coming out, coming out, coming out. But our help is in the name of the Lord that can clean you up. He clean me up. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lord has washed me in his blood and still washing me. Spirits roam in the land. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against the rules of darkness and spiritual weakness in high places. Spiritual. We have spiritual war. But our help is in the name of the Lord. And we got to know these things. The Bible says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Yeah. What do you think Jesus tells us the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy for? That's all the devil going to do. He said, but I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. I come to bring you into our understanding what's going on, what you up against. Come to Jesus. There might be one outside of Christ. We invite you that you come. Come with your help with us. Come to Christ. The Bible says we confess the mouth of the Lord Jesus to believe in our heart that God lives for the dead. Thou shall be saved. There's hope in God. There's deliverance in God. Salvation. Healing. I stand as a living witness. God is who he says he is. I see victories he's given me. Sickness attack my body, but I fall down on my face and pray to the God of heaven. Because I know who he is. And I use these names on my situations. Would you come? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Any man hear my voice? Open up the door of his heart. I come in and sit with him. And he with me. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your script. Thank you for your love. We thank you for your forgiveness. We come begging now for forgiveness for our sins. The sins of our families, our sons and our daughters, the sins of ourselves, the sins of the whole world, mankind and the whole world. Our government officials, we ask you for forgiveness and we plead, Lord, that somehow or another that you will continue to relentlessly knock on their heart until they open up their heart and come to know that we have a creator. Oh, Lord, move in a miraculous way. Let a word fall upon their ears that will change their lives. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharp and into its sword. Please, divine son of the soul and spirit of joints in the mouth and the son of the mind and tents of the heart, Lord, your word, let it fall in these places upon these hearts that men might repent. Yes, that men might come to know who you are. Yes. We cry out for our young people who are caught up in a system, yes. caught up in technology, caught up in so many things that are leading them astray, caught up handling things that they can't handle, Lord. Dealing with situations beyond their age, beyond their level of maturity on these technology systems, drawing them away, Lord, into many enticing things. Have mercy, Lord. We bind the enemy now. We bind all these powers and principalities, all these devices that the enemy is using. We come up against it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Knowing that our help is in you, Lord. We bless your name. We magnify your name. 
We lift up your name in praise. We exalt your name, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for this day and every day that you've given us. Thank you for January till now. Thank you that you walked with us and kept us and allowed us to go out and come in. It was you. Glory be to God. Yes, Have mercy now. As we about to close out this year, in a few more rides in the setting of the sun, in a few more days, Lord. We ask you to continue guidance and keep in power. Thank you for these ministers, everyone that's in Lord House and those that are listening. We apply the same prayer in Jesus' name, knowing that our help is in the name of the Lord. So Lord, you Yahweh, you Yahweh, you Yahweh, you Yahweh, our creator, maker, caretaker, and burden bearer. We come casting all our cares upon you because you careth for us. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. El Shaddai. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. God Almighty. Mighty to change. Mighty to save. Mighty to deliver. Mighty to heal. Mighty to transform your life. Mighty to fill you with the Holy Ghost. God Almighty. El Shaddai. midnight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We'll have the victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan will have to flee.
the Lord. Bless your heart.